Tuesday, Ohio voters will be asked whether they want to pave the way for legalized marijuana. And we wanted to know what life is like in a place where pot is bought and sold without fear of prosecution. Investigative reporter Todd Dykes now is in Colorado for us tonight with a first hand look at that state's legal marijuana industry. Todd. Well, years after saying yes to medical marijuana, Mike, uh, Colorado voters gave recreational pot the green th thumbs up in 2012. And more than one year later, retail stores like the one you see behind me started opening their doors for business. And so far, it appears business is good. Talk about a dizzying array of products. So you have flour, you have edibles, you have uh, topical lotions and creams, there's patches, there's concentrates. Welcome to a brave new world, or in this case, the Medicine Man, a retail pot shop in Denver which sells both medical and recreational marijuana. We have a very clean environment, um, you know, wide open spaces, well lit environment, well trained staff who we call our bud tenders. 26 year old Matthew Benton takes pride in being called a bud tender, saying he moved from Minnesota to Colorado to be part of the state's budding marijuana industry. You ask anybody who's 26 years old, and they're going to want to be able to enjoy recreational marijuana just as if you can go and have a beer somewhere. So, what's the buying experience like, especially for someone unfamiliar with the various strains of recreational pot now being sold legally in stores like this one? First, you ask them, you know, how much have they smoked before? If so, the last time you have smoked, maybe what, what you're used to smoking, and we really go from there. Going from here to there is what could happen on Election Day in Ohio, when voters will consider a pro pot ballot measure called Issue 3. The medicine man's Alan Nelson believes it's only a matter of time before marijuana is legally produced and sold everywhere. People who were consuming marijuana before are consuming marijuana now, and that's happening in Ohio right now. You have marijuana consumers already in your state. Why not give them an avenue to make a safe purchase and a safe dispensary, um, and also to pay taxes on that purchase so that that can go back into their communities? Well, there's no question that budding entrepreneurs back in the uh, Buckeye State see how much cash is flowing into stores like Medicine Man. Also, the shop you see behind me, which is just a few miles away. While they'd love to sell the same kinds of products, you got to keep in mind that uh, pot remains illegal under both state and federal law. Reporting live in Aurora, Colorado, just outside Denver, I'm Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. Todd, of course, has been leading the way on the marijuana in Ohio issue. And you can track his investigation into the Colorado experience on our website, WLWT.com, under the special live wire. Well,